In the wake of this massacre, Jefferson County Sheriff John Stone has been directly in the media spotlight. But several times, his spokesmen have had to backtrack on the sheriff's comments. This week, Stone suggested a friend of Eric Harrison Dillon Klebold's, Brooks Brown, was possibly involved. Brown was outraged. I, I expect Stone to publicly apologize. Um, this upsets me in more ways than I think anyone could imagine. The same day, Stone's spokesman downplayed the sheriff's remark, saying Brown was no more a suspect than anyone else. His shoot from the hip style has left some investigators questioning the sheriff. Stone does not lack for experience. He has a bachelor's in criminal justice, a master's in public administration. He served as a police officer in California, then Lakewood. Several colleagues characterize him as a good cop. In 1987, he was elected Jefferson County Commissioner. He held that post 12 years until he was elected sheriff last November. While John Stone is lawfully serving as the sheriff of Jefferson County, at the same time, he is currently without the proper state certification to be a sheriff. Since he was out of police work more than 10 years, his certification as a Colorado peace officer lapsed. He has a year to get recertified. But after being elected sheriff, he immediately wrote Colorado's Peace Officer Standards and Training Board, asking for a variance from state standards based on his experience. The post director wrote back denying Stone's request, saying state law is clear. Stone needs recertification like anyone else. The work that law enforcement does is critical and that staying current is, is absolutely necessary to the job. But Stone is appealing, taking his request for a waiver to the full post board this month. But if that request is denied, the sheriff may have to go back to what amounts to basic training for a peace officer. Brian Moss, News 4.